In this video, we're going to look at certain features of graphs such as maximums and minimums, x and y intercepts, and how to find them using a GDC. At the end, we're going to use our GDC to solve an equation that we could not do algebraically, but we can do using a GDC. If we look at the diagram that we've been given, we've been given two graphs. The first one, the blue one, f of x, is the graph of 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 4. The green graph is g of x equals e to the power of x divided by 2 minus 3. In part a, write down the coordinates of a and c, which are the maximum and the minimum of f of x. Part b, write down the coordinates b and c, the y and x intercepts of the graph f of x. And in part c, use the graphs to find all solutions of the equation e to the power of x over 2 minus 3 is equal to 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. In other words, we find the points where the two graphs f of x and g of x intercept using our GDC. If we open our GDC at a graphs page and type in the first equation f of x, which is 3x to the power of 3 plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 4. Press enter and there is our graph. Get that out of the way. I am now going to change the window to the exact specifications given in the diagram. So press menu, window zoom, window settings. So I want uh, the X values to go from negative eight to just past six. So we'll go to 6.5. I want the y values to go from negative 6 to 4. And there is our graph. Now we want to find first in part A, the maximum and the minimum. So if you go to menu, I like to use the trace function and graph trace. And our maximum is at the point minus 1.36, 1.78. Now come along to our minimum, keep going. It will give us other values. So our minimum is at 0 0.246 minus 4.39. And if in part B, I want the Y and the X intercept. So if I go along to the left hand side, will give me my y intercept is at 0 minus 4. Now if I trace along up, up back a bit and my 0 is at 0.93 and if you just look at the value it's given for y, minus 
e to the power of minus 12. e means times 10 to the minus 12. That is the GDC's way of saying zero. So there's our four points required. Let's write the answers to part A and part B down. So part A, A is equal to minus 1.36, 1.78. C is equal to 0.246 minus 4.39. In part B, B is equal to 0 minus 4 and D is equal to 0 0.9340. Now for part C. Use the graphs to find all the solutions of the equation. e to the power of x divided by 2 minus 3 is equal to 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. Let's go back to our original graph on our GDC, which is already there. We want to type in a second graph. So press tab, now type in the equation of the graph, which is, I like, we're going to use a fraction, so we know control divide. So we want e to the power of x divided by 2 minus three press enter and there is our second graph get that out of the way and as you can see i have three intersection points right i could find them individually but there is a trick where you can find them all in one go so if you go to menu if you go to geometry, if you go to points and lines, and then intersection points, you now have to tell them which two graphs you want to find the intersection points. It doesn't matter which ones you, which order you tap them in. So tap the first graph, then tap the second graph, and there you can see, let's get them out of the way. So we have one, two, three intersection points. So our intersection points are minus 2.07. We only want the solution, so we only want the x values. So the first one is minus 2.07. The second one is minus 0 0.318. And the last one is 0 0.776. Let's write the answers to part C. So x equals minus 2.07 minus 0 0.318 or 0.776